Here we are provided with a vector valued function r. Using this, we need to obtain the value of this given integral. So here the integration is between the cross product between vector r and its second derivative with respect to the scalar parameter t. And we have to integrate it from limit uh, t equals to 1 to t equals to 2. So let's begin. So first, what we'll do, we'll consider our vector valued function. So here we are provided with 2t cubed i cap plus t j cap minus 3t squared k cap. Taking its first derivative with respect to t, so that us dr over dt, so that will be simply equivalent to taking the derivative with respect to t of each of the components. So i cap, j cap, and k cap, these are constant vectors. So that means derivative of i cap with respect to t, so that will be equals to zero. And this will be true for the other two vectors, j cap and k cap as well. That means we will be now left with the derivative of two times t cubed, so that will be six t squared i cap plus derivative of t, so that will be 1, j cap, minus derivative of 3t squared, so that will be 6t k cap. So let's label this as equation number 1, and this one is equation number 2. What we can do here, so there are two ways of solving this particular problem. We can obtain the second derivative of r with respect to t, so that means d squared r over dt squared. So all we have to do is take equation number 2, and take the derivative of each of the components with respect to t that will give us 12 t i cap plus 0 j cap minus 6 k cap so this will become number three and then we can take the cross product between vector r and its second derivative with respect to t let's do this this is now we are doing method number one so let's find out the cross product all we have to do is obtain I'll write down the 3 by 3 derivative uh, determinant and here we'll consider the first row as the unit vectors and the second row will be elements of vector r so that will be 2t cubed t and negative 3t squared and in the third row we will consider the components of the second derivative of r with respect to t so that will be 12t 0 negative 6. So let's expand this determinant about the first row. So we have i cap multiplied to, so we have t times negative 6, so that's negative 6t minus 0, because there's 0 times negative 3t squared is 0, minus j cap multiplied to, so we have 2t cubed minus 6, so that's 12t cubed minus 12t times negative 3t squared, so that's 36t cubed, but we have a negative 36t cubed, so this will become positive 36t cubed plus k cap multiplied to, so we have 2t cubed minus 6, uh, no, 2t cubed times 0, so that's 0, minus 12t times t, so that's 12t squared. Right. So this will give us negative 6t i cap minus, uh, we have 24t cubed j cap minus 12t squared k cap. So this is the value of the cross product between r and its second derivative with respect to t. Now we can integrate both sides. So let's write it down. So we have r vector crossed with its second derivative of r with respect to t. So we obtain the value negative 6t i cap minus 24t cubed j cap minus 12t squared k cap. So we'll integrate both sides with respect to dt. So this will be equals to, we'll take the integral with respect to t, with limits going from 1 to 2. Now let's find it out. So this will be equals to, so we'll take negative 6 integration of t with respect to dt, with going from limits going from 1 to 2. So this is going to be the x component, and we'll multiply it to i cap minus 24 times integration t cube dt and this is going to be our y component so we'll multiply it to j cap minus 12 times integration of t squared dt with limits going from 1 to 2 this is going to be the z component multiplied to k cap now let's find out the integral 
So we have negative 6 over 2 t squared, with values going from 1 to 2, I cap. Then we have 24 divided by 4 t raised to the power of 4, 1 to 2, minus 12 times 1 over 3 t cube, with values going from 1 to 2. Let's plug in the limiting value. So we have negative 6 over 2, so that's negative 3. So this is multiplied to t squared, so we'll take 2 squared, which is 4, minus 1 squared, which is simply 1. So this is multiplied to i cap. 24 divided by 4, so that's 6. 6 times t raised to the power of 4, so we have 2 raised to the power of 4. That means uh, we have 16 minus 1, minus 12 divided by 3, so that's 4. We have 4 multiplied to t cubed, so that will be 2 cubed, which is 8 minus 1. So there's a j cap here, and there's a k cap. So this is going to give us so negative 9 i cap minus 16 minus 1 is 15. 15 times 6 is 90. So we have 90 j cap minus 4 times 7, that's 28. 28 k cap, so this is going to be the value of the integral. R vector crossed with its second derivative with respect to t, integrated with respect to the parameter t, which is giving us just giving us negative 9i cap minus 90j cap minus 28k cap. Next, what we'll do, we'll use an alternative method to find out the value of this particular integral. We'll have to use a property. And we know that if we have a vector r crossed with its first derivative with respect to t, and we'll take its derivative with respect to t, that will be equals to, so we have ddt of r vector, so this will be crossed to dr vector over dt, plus r vector crossed with ddt of dr vector over dt. So here we have used the product rule. Now these two vectors are exactly the same, so that means they are parallel to each other, so their cross product by definition must go to zero. So we're left with the second term, so that will become r vector crossed with second derivative of r with respect to t. So this means when we take the derivative with respect to t of a vector cross product between r and its first derivative with respect to t, that gives us the cross product between the vector r and its second derivative with respect to t. Now by definition, we can say that if we take integration of vector r with the second derivative of r with respect to t and integrate it with respect to t then this value must be equals to vector r crossed with dr over dt plus the constant of integration c now here this is a vector uh, vector valued fa vector valued function because we are taking the dot a cross product between a vector and another vector so that means a constant of integration this must be also a, a vector so this is a vector constant now so let's use this property we have already found out the value of uh, dr over dt so let's use that so that was our equation number two so we have dr over dt obtained so we'll use this so we'll find out the cross product between vector r with its first derivative with respect to t so let's compute it by using a three by three determinant in the first row we have i cap j cap k cap and the second row will have the components of vector r. So that will be 2t cubed, 3 and negative 3t squared. And in the third row, we'll have components of dr over dt. So that's 6t squared, 1 and negative 6t. Now we will expand it about the first row. So we'll have i cap multiplied to, so we have t multiplied to negative 6t. So that's negative 6t squared minus 1 times negative 3t squared, so we'll have positive 3t squared. Minus j cap, so that will be equal to 2t cubed minus 6t, so that's negative 12t raised to the power of 4, minus 6t squared minus 3t squared, so that's 18t raised to the power of 4, and we'll make it positive 18t raised to the power of 4. Plus k cap, multiplied to 2t cubed times 1, so that's 2t cubed, minus 6t squared times t, so that's 6t cubed. So let's uh, simplify this. So this is going to give us r vector crossed with dr over dt, so that's equals to, so 6t squared plus 
positive 3 t squared, so that was going to be negative 3 t squared i cap. Then we have negative 12 t raised to the power of 4 plus 18, so this will be positive 6. So we have negative 6 t raised to the power of 4. j cap minus 4 t cubed k cap. So this is the value of vector r cross to dr over dt. Now what we'll do, we'll take the uh, limit. So here our limit is going from 1 to 2. So that means when you take the limit of this particular r cross dr over dt, so we'll not have to worry about the constant of integration. So let's compute the value of this vector at the end point. So for the first we have negative 3 times, so t squared, so that will be 2 squared minus 1. So that's 4 minus 1 i cap minus 6, we have t raised to the power of 4, so that's 2 raised to the power of 4, which is 16 minus 1, j cap, minus 4 times t cubed, so that's 2 cubed, which is uh, 8, minus 1, uh, k cap. So let's find out the value, so we have negative 3 times 3, so that's negative 9, i cap, minus 6 times 15, so that's going to be 90, j cap, minus 4 times 7, so that's 28, k cap. So this was exactly what we obtained when you use the previous method, which is r vector crossed with the second derivative of r with respect to t, negative 9i cap minus 90j cap minus 28k cap. And when we use the this particular theorem, then we also obtain the same result. So it's a choice. Whatever way you take, you should end up with the same result.